Hi. Hello, how are you? Uh, yeah, uh, we are fine. How, how are Good. you? I'm, I'm doing, doing well. well. I'm doing, doing well. well. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a Sunday, Sunday here, here, so I had a relaxing, relaxing day. day. How, how about, about you? you? Uh, it's Sunday, uh, it's Monday here, and it's uh, a full working day here. Yes. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Nice, nice day. Good, good. So, so uh, what did you come up with? Yeah, uh, he's Sifat. We are working together Hi. for uh, WordPress projects. Nice, nice to meet you, nice, nice to meet you. I can, can uh, turn, turn on my... my <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, nice, nice to meet you. you. Let me try it out. It's Sunday, it's Sunday night here, so I'm, I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> okay. What, what did you come up with? Uh, we are come up with some uh, plans about uh, your existing project. So, uh, uh, will you share your screen? We are talking. Sure. Uh, uh, would you like me to, to would you, you like, like me to navigate? navigate? Uh, yes, that would be okay. fine. Uh, okay, what would you, you like, like to see? Okay, uh, you can open your website firstly. Okay. Um. Instructor Mania. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, there have no alternative solution uh, as, we, uh, as we were thinking because most important thing is that we have to share uh, the files for instructors. So uh, no other protection will be applied here, not working properly. So we have to uh, manage the website uh, with some instruction and uh, regulations uh, and some stick management. Then the sales will be increased in my point of view and uh, some other things we can uh, do with the system, with the pricing, with the resources and, and uh, you are uh, uh, asking to add a new tab, new menu for uh, free resources. So this, uh, this kind of stuff, if we uh, implement properly with, the, uh, with uh, proper instructions, uh, then I thought uh, the sales will be repeated. We can uh, we can add deposit from uh, from from our clients. Um, every instructor will be deposited uh, a wide amount of m money. Uh, then they will subscribe less money. So th this way uh, we can resubscribe our uh, customers. Or functionally, with the Google Drives and the resources. That have no uh, anything <laughs> system that we can restrict it uh, to download and uh, resubscribe them. They have no. Uh, even, even if you were to put the links on a web page, they still yeah. copy all the things. Yeah, uh, we, we can do that. Uh, we can add the thirty pages to the website. Uh, the fast uh, fast they, step. Can, can, my, my question, my question is, is: Can they copy, copy the links? links? Yeah. Which means, how come I? I'm trying to see like. like uh, how come I can't, I can't see my, my screen when I'm, I'm on the meet? meet. That's weird. That's, That's the way, way I'm presenting. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, would, would you like to just uh, click on the hide tab? On... I'm so, so weird. weird. I don't know. Ignore? It says ignore. Uh, just ignore. And uh, hide. Here. Hide. Where is hide? Uh, the stop sharing. You can see the Touch blue button. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's weird that usually, that usually though, um, when, when you're, you're presenting, presenting, it would show up here for me. me. But any rate, okay, well, uh, good. good. So, so you're, you're saying, saying that the links can be on, on a page, but my question is, can the customer still copy those links, right? Yes, they can copy. Yeah. 
but they, they can't copy right, right now what they're, they're doing is they're able to copy the whole this whole presentation. That's right. so all that. Um, if <laughs> currently they can copy all the uh, links, but uh, yeah, link will be uh, able to copy. And we, we can we can enable the right click uh, disable so uh, no one will be able to copy the link from the website if we if you want we can do that. They can also How can could you do that again? Uh, not actually, but they can also uh, copy the link from the uh, browser's URL uh, box. And that means when we click the link, that means a new tab open and uh, and link will be visible. That means they can just easily copy uh, copy the link and store them and on their uh, computers. They can uh, after the after next month they can if they cannot subscribe your uh, uh, subscri membership membership uh, then they can easily view that uh, links uh, view that files via these links. I'm, I think you understand. That's fine. They've made a copy. That's fine. But I just wanted to, um, I don't want to make it so easy for them. You know? So, you know, teachers are well, generally, we're not looking to, they're not looking to steal from you, right? But when you make it so easy, like right now, it's very easy because this whole presentation, like, um, uh, let me present a tab. Right now, it's this, very easy to, uh, accessing. But right, yeah, right now, now they're, they're getting, they get this, this right, that has, has all the links in it, so they can easily just copy and put it into another block, I suppose. Um, I, I, so, you know, I, I feel like, uh, and on here, they can see, which is fine, they can get here, and they can, but they can also, you know, copy these documents. Yeah, they can um, but that's what they need to be able to do. That's, that's, that's the hard part, part right? Because they, they need to be able to do that in order to assign them to their class. This has happened because we are uh, storing this file in Google Drive. Uh, that means we are uh, giving the permission to users to view this file and they can uh, do whatever you want. Uh, whatever they there's, want, actually. Yes, but there's no way that you can store, you can't have a link to a Google Drive file on the website it won't work that way huh? yeah that means uh, because we are enable the link sharing option uh, from google drive that means and anyone can visit this uh, link uh, they can view the file via this link you understand that yes. if, if i if i have the link i can visit the link i can saw the uh, so what document have on this uh, file yeah. well, well i think um i do I think, think it would be a good idea, idea. Even though, you know, on this part of the site, even though they can copy these links, it might be a good idea to have a separate page for each unit that has, that has the links um, within the page. Um, you know, I think, that, I think that if we were to make a, each one of these a part of a page, at least, you know, it would be... I think it would be a deterrent. I'm not, I mean, it's possible that they would they would still be able to. Yes, uh, that would be hard for them to copy all the links and organize the, it on their stores. I mean, could, could they? My question is, could they just take all of them at the same time and you know, Control C and Control V into another document? No. Copy and paste into another document. We can turn off download, uh, download and print option as well, maybe. One option uh, we can we can implement here. Uh, it is enable to copy Control C from all the link and Control B their uh, storage. It is very much uh, uh, possible to get all the links from here by one click. But in uh, if we uh, add these items on our page and uh, disable the right click, then uh, the all the links they can copy. They can click on they it can. and uh, see the screen. On right. So, so if if they're embedded on the page, they can't copy. They, they can't copy every single link at the same time. Yes. Okay. They, they cannot. cannot. Okay. okay. Well, 
I mean, that's at least better. Now, my next question is, a really good part about this is that when they click on it, let's say, you know, they want to see this, they can preview it, right? It previews. Well, if we put it in the website, they won't be able to preview it, will they? It can be possible by manually, uh, actually. What I hear you saying is that maybe for each one, you would have to put a preview next to it, maybe an icon that has the that has it of that preview. Um, we can take a screenshot and yeah. then, uh, we can take a screenshot and uh, uh, after the link we can add that screenshot over there as a box. As a box. As like a box yeah. with, with the uh, screen. I mean, that's a lot. Uh, that's a lot of uh, screenshots and but I think it's I think it's probably important. They need to see it. So if the screenshot is there and then maybe I can work on descriptions. Link, description, pictures. You know, so then they have we can maybe actually which What's interesting is, is instead of the link, link instead of this an actual link, link we, they just have a clickable icon that is the assignment with a description next to it. Okay. Instead of having the words here. Google Drive is can, uh, can you just click on some link uh, here so we can see? So when I click on this, for example, okay. it shows a preview, but I could open and preview and it'd look like this, right? So they would then, what I'm envisioning is a lot, it's a lot of assignments. It would be a really long. I think that. Uh, Do you want to give the download option for uh, teachers? It's really. Uh, they have to. They have to have it. They have to. The reason why they have to have it is because. Once it downloads into their drive, you want it, you want them to download it into their drive. So these links still have to be. And so that's my big question, actually. If they're on the web page, when they click download, will it go in their drive? No, they store this file on their on their storage device, computer storage device, or mobile device. Say that again. If uh, if. Uh, I add a download link on my website, on your website. Uh, then, then if someone click that link, then download will be happen on that device, not drive. Mm. So it's not working. So we have. Uh, <laughs> so that's. A, I mean, it's a pick. It's a. It is a problem. I think that. I think that the way that we have to work around this is, and I think you already guys already said it, is maybe the pricing has to change, right? More expensive up front, um, less expensive as you go, um, and also I think that if we can establish something that when they sign up, they read a copyright, right? While they fill out information, they fill out information that has their email, the school that they work at, just so they feel like they're giving information up. And then it says, when you cancel, these resources will never, no longer be eligible for you. You will no longer have access to use these resources. Um, I know it's, it's a little bit of a slap on the hand and not preventative. But it will have some... I think it's better than not having anything at all. Yeah, uh, it's better and than not doing something. So we can I, I we can organize them 
uh, we can organize the sign up option for instructor so we'll add some more information also the copy uh, copyright uh, text um, and the free resources tab on the uh, menu and pricing upgrade like uh, uh, they have to deposit some price uh, maybe we can add uh, uh, a three month okay. subscription at a time uh, for <laughs> first time and then uh, the less price will be counting. I think I think you add I think you make the initial payment higher, someplace around maybe eighty dollars, seventy nine dollars. Yeah, that's like three months almost, right? No, it's not actually. It's it's almost three months. Maybe you do eighty nine dollars. Fine, that's almost three months, right? Eighty nine dollars. But then you say, if you stop paying, you lose access. Yes. So at the bare minimum, you at least get people to say, well, I guess I already paid for basically three months. I may as well just keep doing it. Yes. And then you have the payment low enough that people go, it's not that bad. I guess I'll just keep it. Also, the copyright uh, issue in their mind. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this thing will be... Uh, it isn't. It isn't. I understand. It's a. I understand. It's not the best way. I don't know how else to provide the service that we do in the way that we do, and also keep it non-copyable. It's just not possible, right? <laughs> it's a. It's a pick. It's a. It's a dilemma. Is what they call. But. We can do one more thing uh, that we create a custom post type and uh, uh, makes this file as a PDF file. This presentation file is this presentation uh, presentation PPT? Yeah. I can make this a PDF file. It's very easy. Yeah. We can All download you do is a file. Yeah, I know uh, it can be possible. Download PDF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can download this PDF file and uh, we upload this on our uh, own server uh, then we make this as a flip book uh, uh, maybe you understand uh, pdf will show and this way uh, uh, flip just book. like this way, like this way. And this we way. have to open it this way. i like that i like that but again if they can't click on it and have a download from the flip book if they can't click on it and have a download to their drive it's no good Drive it away. No, drive it away. <laughs> this is not possible no. to uh, download on their drive. Uh, because it must be downloaded on drive. Drive. Yeah. It has to. It really does because this is not possible. as a teacher, as a teacher for me, then I take that assignment that it's already on my drive and I assign it to my students. It makes it easier for me. If I have to do another step, it's not worth it. Is a teacher use Google Classroom? Yeah. Do you want to see it? Uh, I, I uh, uh, on my university work, I used uh, Google Classroom uh, for this, but this is very yeah. easy for uploading uh, any files from uh, uh, on Google Classroom uh, for a student. This is very easy. But teacher uh, won't do that. Oh. They will, uh, they will uh, pay for it very easily. They're, They're paying for a service. Yeah. And teachers, teachers aren't that tech savvy. That's, that's the whole thing. Like. You know, younger, younger teachers, teachers are, and they, they will copy and paste it, and, and they will say, oh, I have all those links, but I feel like maybe, I, I just feel like maybe if we were to charge them differently, and, they're, and they would think in their minds, like, okay, so I've already paid for uh, some time here, so I might as well just keep it, and then I think they'll forget. I think that's what you're, that's what you're hoping people will do, right? With the subscription. Oh, it's... I'll, I'm fine. I'll forget about it. Like maybe it's a monthly payment. Do you know? Do you know anything about um, PayPal? Yes. Is it possible? Is it possible in PayPal when they cancel to have an automatic message that says, "If you choose to cancel, this these uh, these resources will no longer be accessible to you." Can you do that? If they can't, we can we can set it from the website. Oh, okay. From the website, they cancel. Uh, uh, but people are canceling on tape. If the subscription, if, uh, if they uh, lose their subscription, like uh, they uh, 
pay on the first uh, first date of month then next uh, next month they will lose their subscription when they lose their subscri uh, subscription we will send uh, we can send the email to them okay and that's automatic? automatic yeah we can set it automatically but, but there's nothing, nothing that we can do on paypal no like, because people cancel on paypal it's very easy for them to cancel on paypal but it would be nice if i could attach something to paypal that says if you do this realize you're not going to have access to these materials but that's not possible website if someone can someone cancel uh, their subscription uh, they have to cancel the subscription from the dashboard website dashboard not paypal no yeah. they cancel on paypal they cancel with paypal they can't they can since they're paying with paypal they cancel with not, paypal uh, i'm not using paypal but i uh, know some uh, i'm i'm know uh, something but uh, if they cancel from paypal uh, that means uh, that was a payment also disabled from the website that means uh, yes if if uh, whenever it cancelled uh, uh, a subscription cancelled then website will automatically send an email uh, to the user that okay. this, uh, 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 this course uh, you uh, this subscription is uh, disabled or something uh, okay that's good I, I that's better and then not, um, you know, I, we've had a significant amount of cancellations, but everyone I've can everyone that I have contacted about canceling, nobody has said anything negative about the product. They've just not answered, which to me says a lot because if there was negative things to say, the teachers would say it. If it wasn't working for them, we get stuff, you know, We've been selling resources for 10 years now. And let me tell you, if you don't make a teacher happy, they will let you know. <laughs> it's not, it's not a, uh, it's, so it's interesting to me that every time you reach out, nobody responds. And I reach out in a very kind way. Hey, this is new for us. We're trying to get better. How could we have served you better? You know, no problem. We understand. How can we be better though? Nobody says anything. And that to me says, in itself says a lot, because usually teachers will try to help someone to improve, because usually they come from a place, they're just the type of person, usually there's a, a kindness there, you know, but <laughs> I think that's what's happening is they feel guilty and they're like, I don't want to engage anymore, I don't want to talk anymore. Okay, so, so uh, what we can do now? Uh, in our hand we have uh, the price updating uh, system like we can uh, add at three months subscription like $89 firstly then they have to pay uh, $19 for a month so we can update the price from here. So what does that come to let's see because right now it's 279 in total right so I don't even know I was wondering if that's um, if we should make it lower let me let me calculate okay. here. Eighty nine and nineteen at eighty nine. Uh, I mean, I was wondering what the best. So eighty nine. I mean, how many months would they have to pay? At Twenty dollars. Eleven. Ten times. Twenty nine. Right. Ten times twenty is two hundred. So they'd have to pay 10 times. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah, they have to pay uh, 10 times. Truly like to t uh, take them from 12 times, like first time 89 and then 11 time 19, 19. So it would be uh, more than 300. I'm just wondering what the, I mean, is there any data that, do you know or could you research? There is a number, I'm sure, where people uh, are likely to forget about it. Or not forget about it, but not care. You know? I don't know what that is. 
but I don't know for an American, right? They don't know what that is. But there is a number where it's not enough to really care about and not cancel. I'm sure there's some data on this somewhere. And I'm wondering what that number is. Does that make sense? Yeah, we need to research about it. That would be, that would be I think there, I think there has to be, people have researched this. It's, I heard it called the trickle, the trickle method or something where. Because they already pay ninety nine dollar, uh, if they cancel, they uh, totally lose their lose their whole uh, subscription. Then uh, maybe they can uh, subscribe, uh, su uh, continue the subscription uh, because they only uh, need uh, ten dollar or twenty dollar uh, in a month. Uh, maybe uh, ten dollar would be good price. This is this is it's just cheap. It's just it's just not very. Um, so let's put it this way the school year is usually 10 months so i guess if you were to say 99 dollars for for the you're looking to make, so that's 17 dollars a month if we're trying to get 270 or 250 if they you know so okay right? okay then then we can uh, uh the subscription would be 14 dollars 14.99 yeah <laughs> Let me talk to my wife about this. Let me talk to a few people about this. I think I want to try it, but I want to get the numbers right. So um, I think the initial payment has to be under $100. So that, that unfortunately sets, sets the amount for the rest. But fifteen ninety nine, fifth fourteen ninety nine times ten is fifty plus ninety nine. So that's good enough. Yeah, I think that's good. Actually, I, I like that. So if we do ninety nine dollars to start off with, then fourteen, and then and then fourteen ninety nine every month. Okay. Then the fourteen ninety nine means fourteen point nine. Oh. Almost fifteen dollars. Almost fifteen dollars. <laughs> Is it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's just a. I don't know. I, I mean, and then ninety-nine dollars to start up. Yeah, ninety-nine dollars uh, to start up. Yeah, so it's around around two fifty. Yes. So it's initiation fee. It's a it's a website membership initiation, or website. Yeah, they call it an an initiation. Website membership, like okay, we, yeah, we can we can add the add the word, <laughs> no issue with that. Yeah. Okay, then okay. then the next step would be sign up uh, or registration upgradeion. Like uh, they will have some more additional information with their schools and uh, more uh, personal information. Like uh, then they will think about oh, I have those information in that website. If I steal something on he here, so it would be weird. They can contact my workplace, and that's a thing. So you need to let them know, like, because they they who's managing a teacher, a principal. So we can contact, and maybe that's the name. Like, I don't know if you want to ask who your principal is. That seems weird. You don't want to do that, but you do want to know the school that they work at. And you want to know what their email address is at school. Yeah, we can easily because we can easily uh, find out the email address for that school because uh, school address are always on the internet. So we can uh, we can find. Oh, out but you can ask them. You can ask them to fill complete that. Yeah, uh, we can. We can and maybe their their position. What is the name of their position? What which is you know and um, also the principal name. I think that's weird. It's almost, it, it's almost like you're gonna get in trouble. Like, you know, it's that's a little weird. But you can imply it. Yeah, we can uh, apply it by optional uh, field. So if they uh, don't uh, fill that uh, principal name requirement uh, field, uh, it would be sign up. But they have to uh, put their school name. It it would be required. Uh, but 
that was not mandatory. I don't think it's a principal name. I really don't think so. I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, this is. That's it's too that's weird. Too I think it's. I just think it's a little bit too much. Like I feel like, but I but I do want them to have to check a box that says, I understand that if I cancel my subscription, I will no longer be able to use your content. Instructor many other resources. Right. We can add. It has to be short. It has to be short though, so that they'll read it. It has to be short and sweet. I understand that if I cancel my subscription. These resources will no longer be available. I will no. I will no longer have access to these resources. Right. And they will not be. And they will not be able to use them in my classroom. And they must have to click on it. Yes. Okay. Short and sweet, though. Really, like, really to the point, so that they read it. Because otherwise, you know, people just click. It has to be like. Yeah. Yeah. The content would be and short the page, and the next uh, page. And then maybe then even a next page that they go to and they see copyright. Yes. Instructor many resources are copyright. After you know. after sign uping, they will land to the uh, copyright page. They will have yes. all and the resources. That would be long. long. Yeah, that would be long, and they will scroll up and read everything from there. I mean, it isn't scroll down to click, you know. Yeah. But I feel like. At least there's a process there. There's a. They understand that. Oh, you know, I don't know. I just it's something. Yeah, something. <laughs> it's something. I know we don't have a whole lot, but it's something. Okay, then uh, another thing is that we can add the free resources on your tab. Also, the less subscription. What we already discussed about it. So these uh, uh, few things we can modify on the website. So it will okay. definitely boost up uh, the subscription. Okay. I, I believe. Okay. And uh, um, I would love people to. I would love someone to add information on the website weekly. Would you be interested in doing that? So, for example. I would give you the resource that you would use and somebody would need to basically copy and paste that information from a different unit a week or maybe every day for that week you do a different, you add something. Does this make sense? So let's say, let me show you an example. So let's say on this, uh, here we have three resources and maybe it says reading resources and when you open that let's see how can I explain this when you open when you open that it uh, has uh, we only have three years right ancient medieval US history which which resources would you like to you know, read about or which resources you like to use you click on ancient and each unit in ancient uh, so that's these let me show you so let's go back to ancient all right here's all the units right here are all the here's all the information but there's one thing specifically that I'd like uh, people to use is ancient history, right? So if you go under notes and readings, and there is a, uh, in each, excuse me, is this it? Let's see here. Yes, these are stations, right? So in each station is divided into geography, economy, Achievements, social classes, religion, government. So I was thinking just so we're constantly interacting with content on the website, someone every day goes in, copies the government one, puts it in. The next day, religion for Mesopotamia, put it in. The next day, so that there's always new information being added. Yeah. That makes sense? 
No, and I understand. I thought that Google. Aren't you more searchable if, if your website has content always being added? Is that true? Uh, could you repeat it again? So I, I heard that in Google. You're more searchable on the internet if you have content always being added to your website. Yeah, it's a good practice to uh, update your website. And since I already have the content on that one thing, like every single unit has, it's called a stations activity. And every stations activity is divided into geography, economy. So I was thinking every day someone could go in and say, okay, this week I'm doing Mesopotamia for five days. I'm gonna do geography on Monday, Tuesday religion, right? So a link will be there and they can open the text for that. Yes. It's already written. So they just have to copy and paste it. Yes, you have a lot of uh, texts I, I have seen uh, the last time. So we can edit on the website as a blog. With, okay. with free resources okay. tab. Inside the free okay. resources tab. So I just want someone to manage that. I don't want to do that every day. <laughs> okay, I'm here. So I'm, as I'm asking someone from your, will you provide that service? Yeah, we, we provide a monthly subscription for uh, large scale of websites. So okay. uh, we are uh, we are able to work on it. We can do every okay. every day uh, update. So in your, so it, it might be a, something, something that would take, you know, through the re, through the school year at least so through, through next June. June. Next June. Why? Because because, because teachers stop, stop working in June, so you wouldn't add more content, content then. But does that, that make sense? sense? So. So right now you got December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So the next seven months, add content. Yes, uh, we are able to do that in continuously okay. basis. You, you you will just provide me the contents, and uh, okay. I will upload all of them in, in website in regular basis. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. That's all. That's all. I think that's a start. Yes. And I am open to, one thing I need to, we need to investigate too is that Google has a Google suite for businesses. Yes. Google, I don't have that right now, but I don't know if I should have it. <laughs> I don't really know what it is. So would, would you see if there's an advantage, if there's a reason why I should have that? Because I think you understand what I have. But I don't know if it would benefit me or the website. Does that make sense? Do you need? Do you understand? Uh, yeah. All right. I just don't know what Google Suite is. It's something. It's for businesses. Or not Google Suite. It's Google. It's for businesses. Google Suite is uh, actually designed for uh, email, like. Uh, uh, you have a large scale of uh, startup or company. You have a lot of employees working together. So uh, Google Suite provides the email. I thought there, there was, was a Google, Google for businesses, though. There was a... Um... Okay, let me check. Wait, it was for file sharing. It was for file sharing. Yeah, file sharing. Uh, also, Google Suite is provide uh, actually I think it's not needed for you. Okay. 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 Great. Okay. Okay. Well, put together a plan. And let me know what you think it's going to cost for that to happen, and let's make it happen. Yeah. First of all, we can. Uh, uh, we are listed those things, and we will implement on the website what we have discussing, uh, and then we will uh, start regular basis our content uploading on on the website, and also okay. monitoring the website maintenance the website and checking what, what to improve and yeah we can reach to the instructors we'll have all the data from instructor and we can also advertise your courses uh, as you have seen that uh, Pinterest would be the best platform for you Pinterest maybe I, yeah I would be open to advertising I just don't know it's not been very effective Pinterest is Pinterest is but uh, I would be open to 
I'd be open to, I don't know if Google AdSense makes sense. Um, we advertise in the USA in sometimes uh, for our company and um, we always work with Facebook ads. Is that your uh, strategy of uh, users? No. <laughs> it doesn't work. I mean, I mean, really, honestly, I tried. Uh, we tried. We tried Facebook for a year. And we spent a lot of time and effort, and it didn't really generate. We saw very little sales. For professional users, maybe LinkedIn is the best option. LinkedIn. Say again? LinkedIn. LinkedIn? Yeah, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. It's not a teacher site. It's not a, it's, I mean, really, the only one that really works is interest. This is a professional uh, uh, social media, actually. So, yeah, but, but teachers, teachers don't use it. Maybe. But yeah, okay, no. uh, I will think about the sales also, as uh, I will manage your website and uh, will be responsible for sales, uh, for sure. Uh, so, I would like to know how you generate sales right now. Um, so we sell our resources on a site that's called Teachers Pay Teachers, right? Have you seen this site? Not yet. Teachers Go ahead and look this up. Look, go, type in and go to Teachers Pay Teachers and then look up Instructomania. And we have a, we have, that's where we sell resources. This website is new. Instructor Mania with Mr. and Mrs. P. Right. So we have a store. It's very much like Etsy. Oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah. So, and and uh, uh, we've more got... 30,000 boots over here. Right. Oh. Yeah, it's a good so, store. So we just didn't have enough materials before to have a website. But now we do. So that's when we started doing the website this past year. Okay. So another, another thing, one other thing I, I want to mention is that um, another part of our curriculum is uh, here, let me show you. We have a YouTube. Have you seen the YouTube? This is something that, let me show it to you. Sorry, I have to present it. Your screen is not shared right now. Can you oh, stop one it? Sec, one second. Yeah, yeah, let me let me present a. Okay. Tab. So here's a our YouTube. Uh, let's see. So these are web. These are all um, you know materials. Materials that we have that are free. But what happens is a, a teacher will click on, let's say, this one, right? Starting out with any. And we just recently put advertisements on it. Any new project management. And they have graphic organizer that they can get to on our website and at our, right? Yeah. Uh, this has generated. This has generated a lot of customers, uh, visitors. Yes. Okay. And so we're interested in more video content. Yes, uh, I got it. Um, but i really interested to uh, integrate Facebook here. So if you don't think it is, it will work, but I can really uh, generate the customer from, he, uh, from Facebook. It just costs a lot of money too. Uh, you, you don't have to cost a lot of money. We can organically no. do that and sometimes you, you can you can trust me for uh, uh, on the Facebook. <laughs> I'll let you try, but I don't see it working. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, I want it to work, and we've tried. And you know what? You're you're one of like maybe three people that said, "Oh, give it a try. It's gonna work." It hasn't yet. But if it's not gonna cost me a lot of money, and you want to try it, if you see if we see an increase, great. Okay. I just don't think so. Okay. So uh, what I need right now, I will need the website access to uh, work on those uh, 
improvement on the website. Okay, why don't you uh, send me? Why don't you send me a uh, a gig as to what you think it's going to cost, and then I will send you. I'll create a username and a password for you to have access to our website. Okay, so uh, okay. I'm sharing my email here because Fiber don't tell how to share email. Here is my email. I, I think I have it already. Remember how I have it already? I think we already have it. But I will, I'll send you another email just to make sure. Okay. Do you use WhatsApp? I don't know what that is. Okay. No issue. We can uh, always communicate on Fiverr and um, on throughout the email at any time. These are the information I uh, I share you on the chat box on Google Meet. Yeah, I'm sending it right now. Okay. It's a. Uh... All right. So once I um once I get the sorry, once I get uh the gig and I approve it, I will send you, um, I'll send you a, an email with the username and password so you have administrative rights. Okay, sure. Okay? Sure, uh, uh, okay, I, I will send that right now. Okay, thank you. It was nice to talk to you and I'll get back to you tomorrow. If I don't get back to you tomorrow, it'll be by Tuesday, okay? Sure. So that's, for you Wednesday. Yeah, okay, no issue. Uh, Ahmed, nice to meet you, nice to talk to you, and thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very okay. much. Bye. Bye.